In Python, a default argument is the value a function uses if you don't provide one when calling it. So here's the setup. Looks harmless, right? We're defining a function called addItem. It takes an item and a list, called myList, and just adds the item to the list. Here myList equals an empty list is the default argument. So let's run it a few times and see what happens. We'll print the result of addItem1, addItem2, and addItem3. Wait a second. The first call gives us 1, which is fine. The second call gives us 1, 2, and the third, 1, 2, 3. We didn't pass in a list, so why is the list growing? Let's change the code and pass in our own list for each call to add item. We'll change the call to add item and add a list with 10 and 20 and make similar changes to the other two calls. And look at this. Now the code works fine because we're not using the default list. The bug only bites when we rely on the default. Still don't believe it? Let's print the ID of my list inside the function. Calling the ID function will return the memory location where the list is stored. And now let's call it a few times. The same ID, meaning the same memory location every time. So you're not getting a new list, you're reusing the same one over and over. Okay, great, so how do we fix this? Here's the right way to do it. We use none as the default value. This is the safe pattern. Then inside the function, we check to see if it's none. And if it is, we create a fresh list. That way, every time you call add item, you get a brand new list, clean, empty, no memory of the past. Let's try it again. Print add item one, print add item two, and then print add item three. Notice that we get back a list of just one, two, and three, exactly what you'd expect. So remember default arguments in Python are evaluated once for mutable types like lists, dictionaries, and sets. Use none as the default to avoid surprises. If you ever had a function act weird like this for no reason, it might have been this. And now you know how to fix it. Want more sneaky Python gotchas like this? Check out my recent video on list assignment and shared references. That one blew some minds. And if this helped you dodge a bug, leave a comment and let me know your favorite Python surprise. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.